Hey everybody, this is the Platinum Knight here with another First Impressions video, and today's First Impressions video is going to be Scream 6. I saw this film almost at the end of March. This is one of those movies that I honestly wasn't too excited for because I remember when Scream 5 was announced and thinking it was a bad idea without Wes Craven and seeing how Scream 4 ended very well, until Scream 5 thankfully proved me wrong. Then I saw the trailer for Scream 6, and I really wasn't all that impressed by it. I feel like the trailer didn't really do it justice enough. I didn't like how it took place in New York. It kinda reminded me of Friday the 13th Part 8, Jason Takes Manhattan. But what really killed it for me the most is is finding out that Neve Campbell not returning as Sidney Prescott due to salary issues. Once I heard about that, my first reaction was, oh no, that doesn't sound good. So I was a little bit worried about this film. However, now that I have seen the movie, what are my thoughts? Surprisingly, it was actually pretty damn good. I don't know how Paramount does it. For the first Scream movie without Sidney Prescott, it was still just as good as any other film in the franchise, and to be honest, I think I like this film more than Scream 5. Now, do I like this better than Scream 1 through 4? Uh, probably not, but Scream 6 is just a good slasher flick. It still keeps up with the spirit of the previous films, parody in other horror movies. I will say that this installment relies more on action as this would have to be the most action packed out of the whole series. It really isn't scary at all, but when has Scream ever been scary? This movie pays homage to the previous films and respects the fan base. Every actor played their role very well. Melissa Barra did amazing as Sam. Jenny Ortega did phenomenal as Tara, which, wow, she's really been killing it lately. For those who don't know who Jenna Ortega is, recently she starred in a movie called X Last Year and is currently playing as Wednesday in her own show on Netflix. I'd say she definitely has a bright future ahead of her, even though Neve Campbell as Cindy Prescott didn't make a return, at least we got Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers, and she puts on another outstanding performance as always. I'm not gonna spoil the ending, but I will say it was unpredictable, not because of clever writing, but because everything just suddenly happens at the very end. It comes out of nowhere. You can try to guess the twist at the end, but not completely. It's very strange, which is why I highly recommend you check this film out for yourself, so that way you can come up with your own conclusion. Believe it or not, this was the very first movie I saw in theaters of 2023. Me and my cousin Juan saw Scream 5 last year, and I had a good time reuniting for this installment. They're most likely gonna make Scream 7, and... And if that happens, we'll be sure to go see it. Alright everybody, that's it for this first impressions video. That's it for my first impressions on Scream 6. If you enjoyed this video, then please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for new videos and peace out everybody.